This is Twit. Let's talk about uh, watches and fitness. There is a new Fitbit coming. Um, yeah, I guess you must be into this because you're wearing this new basis. Uh, well, I, I had a, the original basis. Yeah, I liked their, it. This is their next one. It it's was about the yet. smartest watch out there, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it looks pretty hideous. But, As did uh, the old one. It's very functional. But you, it actually doesn't look like it's trying to be something it's not. I now, mean, this is Intel bought them, right? Yeah, yeah, Intel bought this company. And it does steps. And the cool thing about it is it does heart rate. Which they all do now. It's kind of a, a yeah. standard feature. But yeah, the it, Moto it has 360 the, uh, does hard. Not very, not well. It has the, the thing on the back that does it do heart. Oh look, it's 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 trying pulsing. to measure my heart rate. Right does now. it do heart rate um, when you're exercising? Because it does heart rate continuously. Okay, because a lot of app, these and it'll show you your heart rate okay, over the so day. Okay, that's an improvement. Yeah, because a lot of them they, say you have to stand still and don't make any noise. No, 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 no. No, that never happens. <laughs> I know. What good is that? Um, no, it measures heart rate all the time. The battery's okay. supposed to last for four days. Uh, the Bluetooth stuff isn't turned on yet, so it's not giving me all my alerts, but it does sync to the phone. Oh, so and you do have some notifications. No, I'm not getting any notifications. But you would. Theoretically, that's yeah. coming. It's, yeah, we'll see. How much? Uh, I don't know. Unannounced? 200, 300, around there. The problem is that the other companies like uh, Fitbit and... Um, Apple, they're all about the same price range, and they seem to have more design chops. Well, Apple certainly. Yeah. Not Although, the same price range necessarily. Here's the thing that gets me about all these things. They're all, they, they're looking for a reason to be. Right. So, and they're all pushing health because that's what they can actually do for you that a regular watch can't. Right. Uh, and they all want to also measure your sleep. Right. Which is a double problem because who wants to wear a watch at night? Well, the funny thing is... And you got to charge them all the time. Apple apparently has put into its uh, Apple Watch, you know, it has the taptic feedback where it just, it does, I've been told it doesn't actually buzz. It's just like somebody's actually yeah. tapping you, bugging right. you. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks. So they have a, a taptic feedback alarm that'll wake you up. Okay. But we also know that the iWatch won't get through, uh, Apple Watch won't get through a day without charging. Right. So what good is that? You buy two. <laughs> this is your my night, night watch. watch. Your day watch. Yeah. <laughs> That's useless. But it's the it, tap thing is actually unbelievably cool. I haven't have seen you felt it. it. No, 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 no. But the, the the thing about it that I like is the integration with maps. Did you hear about that? No. Where uh, if you have if you have walking directions to somewhere, yeah. it'll say left. It, it will tap. tap left. It'll tap you differently for uh, go left, go straight, go right. That's neat. So you come to an intersection, it goes beep beep. Oh, that means go left. See, that is yeah. one use for... I have the Moto 360, and I've tried a bunch of them, including the old basis. Yeah. This is the one I've stuck with the longest. And that was one really good use for this, was you can do, okay, Google, you know, take me to the airport. Well, actually, this was for walking around mm -hmm. London. So take me to the Tower of London. And it would put the map on the watch face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would take your next turn would be on the watch face. And it would buzz when it was time to change direction. Oh, cool. Yes. But it didn't go left, right. It would just buzz and you have to look. Mm -hmm. But I th that worked really well. That was a good use for this. So you have that set, so it automatically comes on. Yeah. When you do that, I actually, that's I, a I, disadvantage in a way is that these don't—they're not like a real watch where they're always on. This one's always on. I will say that. Yeah, but because it looks crappy. It does look pretty crappy. So it's <laughs> but it's always crappy. It's not intermittently crappy. This looks good, but it's only—and you can make this look like a Rolex. People, there's all sorts of faces out there for this. Um. Anyway, Fitbit has some new ones. Uh. They really have kind of owned this market because they were the first. I remember mm -hmm. when they were, was it a Kickstarter? They were, a, I think they, it was some sort of crowdfunded thing. Fitbit? Maybe no. not. No? Fitbit, I remember when they announced at a um, either a TechCrunch or a launch conference. Maybe that was it. It was just a startup. Ages ago. And nobody had really had this idea yet. I mean, it was a pedometer, let's face it. It, but Fitbit, it was, it was, a, it was something you put phone. in your, on your yeah, pants. Yeah, it was a clip. Yeah. You have lost many of them. Mm-hmm. Many, many. Brilliant design. Yeah. yeah. Falls off like, Absolutely, like yeah. that instantly. Last a day. <laughs> <laughs> San Diego Zoo has one of my Fitbits. You're right. One's in Paris. Good place to lose a Fitbit. One's in the toilet. <laughs> uh, but they fall off. They fall off really easily. Anyway, they, they, they've gone to the band because that doesn't fall off. Um, their newest uh, ones have been announced. The Fitbit Charge HR and the Surge. They all do the same thing with the heart rate tracking. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they're kind of bulky. These will be out early next year. Um, this is a replacement for the uh, Force, which was pulled back because it had nickel in it and made people itchy. <laughs> 
So this is that the... Was a, that was a PR disaster. It was. Fitbit. But Jawbone, remember the Jawbone Up? What a PR disaster that was. It basically, they took them all back. Wait, wait, which one is the, was the one? Now see, by association... association. Well, this Jawbone they had, was the one that had the irritated people, right? No, no. The Fitbit the Flex Fitbit was the one that the force was the one that Jawbone irritated people. Jawbone broke. Fitbit Jawbone just didn't work. Right, okay. Work. <laughs> this has been a problematic it's one of those category. harder than it looks category. I think everybody's trying to get these out now before the Apple Watch comes out. Yeah. This has that same heart rate monitor. It's probably mm -hmm. the same company that makes it that, yep. that blinks. So that's, tw that's all the time. So you would get a graph at the end of the day that would show how your heart rate yeah. went. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's useful. Shows you how out of shape you are all the time. Right. I yeah, this that. seems like th this is kind of a, like a new PDA category. Or the idea being that these are these single-use devices. Yeah. And that once we do get something like the Apple Watch that's not only a terminal for your iPhone, but also acts as a trigger for HomeKit and, and a controller for your Apple TV and the various things that it's going to do, these other things are going to seem like single-purpose wannabes and like well why would we need that anymore let's just get this one device that does everything and then we'll get another one the next year because of course it'll do new magical things and i feel sorry for the people who get the gold ones who are going to spend i don't know how many thousands of dollars and find out oh you mean there's one that's thinner and it doesn't require an <laughs> iphone there's the apple says we're going to do a drop-in replacement or that, i was wondering the if they were going to do that and do some some kind of rebate well, or basically six grand and that's what the yeah. rough estimates are, even at six, we talked about this last week, uh, at six grand, a gold watch would be a good deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So uh, even at six grand, if it's obsolete next year, that's not good. So the th thinking is maybe Apple will have a subscription sort of upgrade. A subscription service? Yeah. Microsoft's in this business. Paul Thorat got his Microsoft banned. He says, even after less than a day of use, it's pretty clear the Microsoft band is big, bulky, uncomfortable, and complex enough to dissuade many from using it. It's a perfect Microsoft product. Uh, he does say there's magic here. Um, you've got Microsoft Health Services, which he says are more comprehensive than uh, the Health Kit uh, or Google's Health mm -hmm. uh, Service thing. But the band itself, and I've heard others say this, is just kind of uncomfortably bulky. All of them are. None of them are great. No, the thing is, for the for the heart rate thing to work, it has to be pressed against your skin. Right, that's why. Yeah, so thank goodness this, this is thing... flat. It's not f curved. You can see in the picture on the... Yeah, it's like the first um, site. The first square Google Watches. Right. Even even though they're the, pretty much the same size as the round one you have, they just don't sit well. He says it's like wearing handcuffs, and you're always aware the device is there. Um, it does have a very nice screen, which does a lot... Uh, including uh, notifications, of course. It's not just a fitness band. Um, he does have sleep monitoring. He says the results were not inspiring because I felt like I slept well. Uh, but according to the band, I only got four and a half hours of sleep, one of which was restful. <laughs> That's bad. When the band tells you <laughs> that you had a crappy night's sleep, you thought you felt fine until you saw that. You know, it just sends up an alert that says, get a CPAP. <laughs> <laughs> you snored all night. You kept me <laughs> up, says the... the all night. <laughs> somebody in the, Feld in the chat room says, the new name of this is the Microsoft Shackle. It does <laughs> it, it does look like you're under house arrest a little bit. It Put it around your yeah, ankle. Wow. Actually, you could wear that around the ankle for monitoring. It wouldn't be quite so obtrusive. I actually have done that with my Fitbit because I... Um, all of these have one big failing is that they measure walking and running, mm -hmm. but no other form of exercise. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, you work out, I row and I work out for hours rowing and it says you didn't do anything today. So I put, start taking to put it again on my ankle. Doesn't help. Bicycling, same thing. Doesn't help. They don't. They should know bicycling. They should know they, especially bicycling. Especially the new ones, uh, like the, the high end of the, um, the Fitbit watches has GPS. Right. So it knows how fast you're moving. And bicycling exists in a narrow range between walking and driving, so it should know. Oh, yeah, a little GPS action yeah. would tell you. Yeah. Some of these have GPSs. Most of them don't because that's a real battery killer. Right. Well, that's the new thing. I mean, the the uh, the Timex has one that has right. GPS and a cellular radio. Yeah. The, and it looks, by the way, it looks like it has GPS and a cellular radio. Oh, my God. It's, it's, it looks a, like it was invented by the Soviets in 1958. It's... <laughs> Well, I'm going to do a sci-fi movie, and that's going to be yeah. the communicator. Yeah. It just looks like it. Um, the Will I Am one has... Uh, the Will I Am one. 
Okay, come on. Really? Is that a contender? It's it's a statement. <laughs> I'll say that. It's huge. Do you have we gotta get an image of the Will I Am watch? We we interviewed uh, Will I Am. I thought this was a joke. No, he's serious. This guy, Will I Am is a really interesting, different guy as a tech entrepreneur. He keeps throwing stuff against the wall. Uh and he knows but he's a smart guy. He is really so smart. So he says really don't call it a watch. Will I am, you should know. He's the front man for Black Eyed Peas. He's great. He's a great rapper, uh, great performer, great musician. Uh, it's called the Pulse or the, Pulse? The P U L S. Yeah. Pulse. Pulse. Here's Will I am with a CNET. <laughs> He's also wearing a backpack. So that makes him a fashion accessory. What the hell is he wearing? Is that a tennis racket? What is he wearing on his back? Jetpack. <laughs> this is the. I'm telling you, he's a smart guy. I think it's not a watch. Smart guy. And it's not a smart watch. It's a whole new thing. It's a it's a, a new paradigm, a new category called a pulse. Over <laughs> here, your notifications are here. Mm -hmm. Your your navigation is here. Oh, okay. So you just got to imagine you have three things here. I like it that some people are trying stuff, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we have a long way to go before this stuff is Going useful. Up and down are your but he's, tr he's trying so stuff. Travel from here. You get your notif your little in that menu. Go Can you buy here. this? Some cool I features that's like the idea. Vibe, I don't know if it's available yet. App. Yeah, this that is Brian Tong uh, at CNET uh, interviewing Will I Am on the watch. If you choose to, your call. So there's everybody and their brother. I like this one. This is the new one from HB. They got a designer to do this one, Michael Bastien. Let me show you this one here. Um, it actually looks like a watch. It's called the MB Chrono Wing. An alligator strap for six hundred fifty bucks. Sapphire crystal. Anybody? So this one puts the little has a little watch insert and a little. But that's uh, an LCD screen. Don't be fooled. The whole thing is LCD. Um, yes. Because every picture I've seen of this watch has the watch insert in yeah. the same exact. You can't space. get rid of it. It has does not have a touch screen. It's Those just buttons, buttons and like notifications. Lots of buttons. I like buttons. Yeah. I don't know. At least it looks like a watch. This is so cool. I mean, everybody's trying different design yeah, ideas. That's what I like. Um, and the watch manufacturers are getting involved. The fashion people are getting involved. The right. fitness people are getting involved. And it's all this battle for the wrist, the wrist top battle. Right. Uh, this cannot track your steps. This cannot measure your heart rate. This does not beep. It has no touch screen. It has no microphone. Perfect. <laughs> but it tells time beautifully. It does tell time. Um, yeah, I mean, you know what? You credit with uh, all of this innovation to the Apple, Apple rumor mill because all of these things were created before Apple announced an Apple Watch, but on the basis of the rumor mm -hmm. that Apple would be doing a watch. And everybody said, scurry, scurry, hurry, hurry, get to this market before Apple does. Still won't matter. <laughs> I mean, Apple's yes, exactly. Not that it's going to help very much. <laughs> when they... Apple will sell them. Apple not only... Like... Sorry. No, I was, I was just saying, you're, you're right. When this, when Apple comes out, everything else will disappear or will be also ran, and they'll just discount things highly. I'm not convinced, then people though, see that what Apple's, Apple's done. And then, I mean, I'm not convinced that Apple's got it either. Though. No, no, no. I think the, I, I am very excited about the version 2 Apple Watch. Yeah. yeah. The things, the battery life is no good. They're bulky. Uh, the UI is first gen on almost all the products. Um, but... I kind of like the idea, you know, yeah. of this stuff working, but this stuff is too bulky and itchy.